Rugby fans will once again be thrilled and entertained by world-class rugby action when the HSBC Singapore Rugby Sevens returns to the Singapore National Stadium on the 9th and 10th of April. We're just days away from the Singapore Sevens. It's the first tournament back since 2019. How exciting is it, and especially with crowds and, and everything coming back? Oh, I think it's fantastic. I think it's um, a spot on the series that was really missed uh, by the players. And um, yeah, I, I know that that stop in Asia is always one that's kind of circled in red for us, uh, can, the Canadian contingent anyways. It was something we always really looked forward to was getting over there and playing. And uh, what a fantastic tournament. And what a fantastic uh, venue. So. Mm. What makes it so great? I know it's kind of competing with Hong Kong and taking over that hot, that top spot of being, you know, the hottest kind of venue. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, what I, what I really like about, I love the stadium. I think it's fantastic. It's beautiful. Um, I really like the ground. I think it's, it's one of the firmer grounds um, we play on and therefore I think it's one of the faster grounds. So I think, I think it's good for expansive rugby and I think it's great for, for the game of sevens. Um, yeah, and, that, and not to mention just coming to Singapore and the, the people are amazing and, you know, the organizers do such a fantastic job putting on the tournament. So I know it's one that, that all the players and the, and the whole World Series looks forward to. Mm. And it's got an incredible atmosphere. Just how much does that add to the experience? Oh, yeah, for players, the atmosphere is everything. I think, um, you know, you try to block it out. You say you're not distracted and you're not taking it in, but you know, that just that energy, it, it's hard not to feel it when uh, when you're in, in the tunnel, especially and running out in, in front of a, a crowd like that. So, yeah, I know it, it's definitely a huge plus and something that Singapore always brings. Mm. Well, you won Canada's only cup final at Singapore in 2017. You, what do you remember of that moment and how special was it? Yeah, I remember, obviously, it's, it's a huge highlight in my career. I think it's something... Um, that I always look back on fondly. It's, it was just one of those days where, you know, everything was clicking and um, we played some really good rugby uh, on day two. Day one was, you know, pretty average. Uh, I remember a coach ripping into us a bit and um, kind of waking up on day two. Uh, yeah, excited to, you know, have another crack at it. And we got, ended up getting through our quarterfinal against New Zealand, which played really well in, um, and then had a really close game against England. It could have gone either way. And then, just snuck one out against the States in that final. And I just remember it was just one of those, one of those days where kind of everything goes, goes your way. And um, I know for, for myself and all the other guys that were in that change room, it's something that uh, was pretty special. And uh, you know, I, I think I, I really hope um, that we'll see another Canadian team do that soon. Mm. Well, that obviously would have to be a, a top memory of Singapore sevens, but do you have any others that kind of sit up there? Oh, there's so many great memories of Singapore. I think just, uh, I remember the first year it was in Singapore when it came back to Singapore in 2016, uh, just showing up at the stadium for the first time. It's just a, a beautiful ground. Um, yeah, like we talked about earlier, the, the crowd's just phenomenal. And uh, yeah, from, from a player perspective, it's just such a great place to visit. Like I said, the organization is fantastic. Uh, players are comfortable. The ground is fantastic. Yeah, it's just a, it's a great place to play rugby. Um, to pick another moment that sticks out to me is pretty tough because my, my big moment's always winning that championship in, in uh, 2017. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Well, when people think of, of sevens, I guess everyone's mind immediately just goes to how fast it is and the pace of the game. But I mean, there's a lot more to sevens than just running quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, uh, I'm pretty average paced and, and, and got to play sevens. But uh, yeah, no, I think there's a lot more to it. There's obviously just so many little details that go into the game. Uh, there's so many different body types. Obviously, speed at the end of the day is the most dangerous kind of weapon uh, you could have in your side and as an individual. But um, I think for the best teams, they got kind of all the all the bits that that kind of add up to that that kind of top notch side. So you need you need the rugby IQ, you need the size, you need to be dialed at your kickoffs, you know, clever at the breakdown. Defensively, you got to be sound. You know, the best teams in the world are also the best defensive teams. So uh, yeah, there's a lot more than just speed, but I think at the end of the day, speed speed always kills too. Uh, what would you say to someone who maybe? 
um, hasn't seen a, a sevens game before or is contemplating going down to sing, the Singapore sevens, what would you say to convince them to, to head down? Oh, I'd say definitely go down. I think it's obviously I'm biased, but I can't think of a more kind of high speed, enjoyable sport to watch. Um, even if you're not a rugby fan, I know, I know in Canada, there's a lot of people that are really into the sevens because just because of the nature of the game. And uh, it's a great way to learn the game. Um, and it's just, it's a great watch. And I think, uh, I think it's going to, there's going to be some exciting rugby this weekend in Singapore. So I would say definitely check it out. For details on ticketing and the latest event happenings, visit the HSBC Singapore Rugby Sevens website, www.singaporesevens.com.sg and follow the official Instagram and Facebook accounts. This Sports Center segment is sponsored by Singapore Tourism Board.